Let's head to Seattle to meet a quarterback who's adding a new chapter to his family's football history. Hugh Millen is pretty well known around these parts. The former Washington Huskies quarterback and 10-year NFL veteran is now a football analyst on local television and radio. His son Cale, though, is becoming pretty well known himself. The quarterback at Mount Si High School is a rising prospect in the 2019 class. At the time that he first started playing at age eight, I actually did not want him to play because he was young for that age class. Uh, it was eight and nine year olds. He was relatively light and I didn't want him to have a bad experience. And I'm like, Cale, you do not have to play because dad did. You can play soccer, you can play the trumpet, and then he's, no, dad, I'm playing ball. Interestingly enough, my very first impression of Cale was him as a defensive player and being one of the fiercest tacklers on the, on the field as a seven-year-old. And I didn't know it was gonna be quarterback. I assumed because, you know, of his dad and the training that he would get. But what stood out more than anything was his competitiveness and his feistiness uh, as a football player. We didn't really buy into quarterbacking yet just because I was so so young. Uh, I didn't play quarterback until my third year of football. Uh, I think it really helped me just be aggressive, fiery, competitor. He's excited by competition, which is great for me. And he loves the thrill of competition. So he never competes from the standpoint of fear. He doesn't have any fear at all. Well, obviously, I'd, I'd probably put myself as a pocket passer, but I'm also a pretty good athlete for my size. You know, if I, if I need to make a play, I'll go make a play. I can run for a first down. He's a much better athlete than me. I mean, he moves better. Uh, he's just more explosive. I think his competitiveness is, it, it runs a little different than mine, and I think that he's better wired in that regard. And when he gets in the car before the game, you know, I might have been pensive or what have you. He, he was just like, Put on some M&M, man, man we're, at, we're freaking killing these guys. You know, I mean, he has that kind of overt sense of love of the game. Whether he's talking about mechanics or game prep, Kale is always learning things from his dad, who is also an assistant coach at Mount Si. Hugh's NFL experience gave him a lot of knowledge that he's able to pass down, especially considering that the NFL journeyman backed up some of the game's greatest quarterbacks, John Elway, Troy Aikman, and Dan Marina. When I was playing, I, I felt like at the high school level, I didn't have an understanding of defenses at all. I, I didn't know what cover two was, cover three. Co uh, to me, I just dropped back and throw to my friends. I wanted to make sure that he had the knowledge of defensive recognition. Obviously, to reach your potential as a quarterback, you have to have that understanding of the defense. I'm really grateful for him because he knows a lot of things that most fathers don't know, like to reach your dreams. So. He's always pushing me every day. You know, he'll he'll tell me if, if I'm not doing something that I need to be doing, he'll he'll get me on the right track. As a father, he's he's obviously my best friend, so we always always throwing together and always working to get better together. So it's a kind of a team thing, uh, team goal. And then with my brother as well, we're all together. Kale's competitive fire is always burning, even when he gets home. His younger brother Clay is a rising sophomore and will serve as Kale's backup at Mount Si. The two have always pushed each other. It's pretty fun, actually. Um, this is the first year we've been on the same team. He gives me crap because he wants to, he wants to play this year, but he definitely he definitely could. But for right now, he's stuck behind me, so we kind of have fun with that. They knock heads and, and what have you, but I, I think in the end they have respect and and uh, they'll dog on each other all day long. But then outside, when you know it involves games or what have you, uh, they have always had each other's back and, and have always been supportive. So I think it's been a healthy competition. While the Millen name has been associated with the University of Washington in the past, in the future, it will be the University of Oregon as Kale is verbally committed to the Ducks. Oregon, uh, I was really bought into them uh, when I was really getting to know Coach Cristobal and Coach Arroyo. I just felt that really family sense from them that I felt needed there. And then when I got there, it was just, totally what I thought it would be, family and everything. So it was definitely the spot for me and my family agreed and they, we all trust in the program, so I'm excited. I think it's wonderful. I think they have really good people down there at Oregon. As much as I love Washington, um, and I grew up in Seattle and, and I'm, I'm as Arden an alum and former player as I could possibly be, but I still love my son infinitely more than I love my alma mater. And, so if Oregon is the best place for him, I'm 100% supportive. I told him, you have no capacity to disappoint me in this decision because it's based on your values. 
Oregon coach Mario Cristobal celebrated Kale's commitment by joining Kale in his unusual dietary routine. Like I drink eggs, I drink 15 eggs a day. Um, it's kind of crazy, actually. So I'm an egg drinker and he found that out about me. So every time I was texting him, he's like, hey, I'll drink 10 eggs with you right now if you commit right now. So that kind of got a bigger and bigger thing. And then when I committed, we drank eggs together. So it was kind of a, it was a, kind of a cool celebration. The most exciting part for Kale and his family as he looks to the next level is that he's just scratching the surface of his potential. Well, I'm just excited to see him grow. But I do think objectively, I think he's reached a lower percentage of his athletic peak than most kids his age. A lot of kids, uh, you know, have been shaving since the ninth grade, and they're within 90% of the athlete that they'll ever be. I think he's closer to 70%, 65, whatever. Um, and so uh, that, that's the excitement for me is just to see when he reaches his athletic climb, what type of quarterback will he be then? I think he's just getting started. You know, um, he's still growing, uh, you know, physically, and uh, he's al already very mature. So I think he's going to, you know, transition very well into the college game. And I think he'll flourish under, under those circumstances that they have down there, and he'll rise uh, to his highest potential for sure. I'm extremely excited. Uh, it's really nice knowing that I've worked for something my whole life and I can finally go on to the next level and play. And I'm excited. Obviously, that'll be the next thing for me is to try to get on the field. And then after that, we'll see where I go from there.